Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I just have some like binder updates, I guess, that I wanted to film. So you might be able to tell what we're doing by looking at these fillers. But I'm setting up to expand a collection and then I have a comeback to set up for. And then also, not pictured, I have um, two collections that I'll be not expanding but like upgrading their binders, I guess, to like make room for future comebacks. So we have a lot to do today. Um, I'll put timestamps down below if there's like only one or two sections you're in you'd be interested in watching. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Um, you might be able to tell these are both related to shiny, so we're gonna start there today. I do have, um, this is going to be my setup for Key's comeback. He does have a comeback with Good and Great, which I really enjoyed. It's not my favorite comeback of his, but it's still really fun. And let me go ahead and flip ahead to his section here. Trying to make room. So, you can probably guess <laughs> what we're doing here, but let me flip ahead to Key. I am still working on finishing his Killer collection. I think I only have, they're not all on hand, but I think I only have two more cards that I'm missing at this time that I'm filming this. But yes, we are setting up to collect Good and Great. There's four album versions, and then one of them has like two separate versions, so there's really like five versions. And I think there's 16 cards total, because they each have three. And then the ID card version has like the three selfies plus like an ID card. So, I'm going... I guess I'm just gonna go in order here. I'm gonna do the cover letter first. That one is the one that has two versions. My albums are on the way right now, I think. They're gonna be delivered like Monday. That's like a few days from now. So we'll see. I'm not gonna film like a formal unboxing or anything. Just because I, honestly, I don't really watch those myself. I don't really care to film them um and also when I ordered my albums they were out of the ID case or not the ID case the ID card version so I don't have that one yet but I'm gonna have to get it soon I think it's back in stock um on the website that I usually order albums from so I'll have to take a look but yeah so these are I don't know which one is the photo book version. I think the work report is supposed to be more like the photo book. And then these two are like large, like letter size, like a file folder almost. I don't have, my iPad is charging, so I can't like pull up the album details right now, but um, yeah. Okay, so on this page, we're gonna do the S mini, which this time, his last comeback, the S-Mini had two cards, and then he did like a, was it like a QR version? I don't know. His album details change every comeback. <laughs> Which honestly I'm not mad at, because he has like some of the most creative packaging, honestly. Like the fact that this comeback was like office, like job themed, and he did like a, like a little file folder themed album. It's really interesting. Yeah, so that is going to be the setup that we're working with. Might change a little bit like once I have the cards on hand, but we'll see. I did really enjoy this comeback, by the way. It's not my favorite that he's put out. I think like Bad Love and Gasoline are more my type of music, but I did like Good and Great. It's really fun to listen to, and it's definitely catchy. It gets, like, stuck in my head. So, yeah, that's it for that. And next, I have some exciting updates. Or does it even really count as an update? I don't know. I'm going to be expanding my shiny collection. This is probably not the time to do it. 
I feel like there's just a million comebacks happening, but why not? I'm going to be expanding my collection to collect OT5 for like the older album cards. Um, this is a collection that I know is going to take a long time. It's going to take quite a bit of money. So it's not something that I'm going to be like in a rush to complete or anything. I just, I've just been wanting to do this for so long. Like literally since I started collecting Shiny, I've been buying like cards of the other members just randomly like here and there i haven't purchased any in a while i think just because i've been like focused on like solo stuff but i really want to expand my collection so we're going to set up to do that today and i think first i'm just going to take all of these cards out i'll probably speed this section up Okay, so I'm just going to go in order. We're going to start with Lucifer, which of course I have Tame for, but I don't have any of the other members. I think this is definitely going to be one of the like eras that is more difficult to collect. It's going to be more expensive, um, probably a little bit harder to find, especially Jonghyun. I think his cards will be the most difficult to find. So, we'll see. Um, okay, oh, <laughs> I almost kept going. Okay, so that's it for Lucifer. And then Sherlock is another one that I think will be more difficult. So, it's not as, it's not gonna be as bad as Lucifer for sure, but just like since it's one of their earlier eras, it's gonna be, I don't think it's gonna be as expensive, but it's gonna be like harder in general just to find the cards, so. Yeah. I don't really know how I want to go about working on this collection, to be honest. Like, if I want to try to go, like, era by era, or just work on, like, members, or just find the cards randomly. I don't know yet. So, next up we have Misconceptions of You. So again, Taman, I think, is the only one that I have. Um, we have Onyu here. Tongyun, Ki, and Mino. So yeah, I just have Taemin. I think this one's the hardest set out of the, like, Misconceptions series. Um, it's, like, more expensive. Okay, so then we have Misconceptions of Me, which really has two different presses. There's like first press and second press, and for some reason the second press is like a lot harder to find, or it's like just more expensive for some reason. So I believe the Taman that I have is first press. And then I also have a Changyan and Ki, which Changyan is first press because he wasn't in the second press version, and then the Ki is second press, which is weird. Because I bought these both from Amazon, like, when I first started collecting. And you could, like, still buy shiny albums on Amazon. Um, so I bought these both from Amazon. I think I was trying to pull Taman at the time. So it's interesting that I pulled, like, one first press and one second press. So, I don't know. I'm going to keep um, Key's second press card because I don't know how easy it will be to find his first press card. And I feel like it fits the concept better anyway, so we'll just keep it like that. But then I do also have fillers for Onu and Mino. This is probably one of the sets that I have like the most complete. Okay, and then Misconceptions of Us. Actually, I think this one is the one that's the most difficult. Not Misconceptions of Us. I mean, of you. I think me. I'm sorry, I'm getting these confused. I think us is the most difficult, and then you is actually one of the easier ones. I don't know. There's a lot. Okay, for this one, 
I do also have Onyu, which is literally one of his cutest cards. Are you kidding me? And when I say these cards are, like, expensive, I mean, like, they usually go for, like, $20 each. Um, at least, like, when I was looking for them. Some of the easier eras, you can find them for, like, 10 to 15 probably, or sometimes even less. But the more expensive ones are going to be, like, easily $20 a member. So, yeah. Okay, next up we have Everybody. So, I do have Taemin. And then I also have a key. They're all wearing these like big floppy hats. I love it. I really, 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 really want Jonghyun's card of this um, this set. It just, it's so fun. But it's also kind of on the pricier side, of course. So yeah, I think he's definitely gonna be the hardest member to collect. I. I like that I started with Taemin because I think he's like the most difficult to collect. People just overprice him so bad. But okay, let's see. Moving on to Odd Era. So for the A version or the red version, we have Taemin. And then I also have a Tongyeon card, which this I think is one of the first cards I ever pulled. Um, at least for Shiny. I think it was another album that I just randomly, like, could find on Amazon, so I bought it. Uh, I think I was trying to pull Taemin, but then I pulled Jonghyun, and I was like, I cannot get rid of this card. <laughs> and that kind of, like, sparked the whole, like, wanting to collect OT5. And this was, like, literally two, almost three years ago that I, like, bought these albums. Yeah. Okay, now... We have the blue version, or the B version. I think I only have Taemin. So let me just stick these fillers. Okay. And next up, we have Married to the Music, which, again, I think I only have Taemin with this uh, wild hairstyle. <laughs> These cards are interesting, for sure. This is, like, such an- such a- what's the word I even want to use to describe? It's such a weird music video, but, like, in the best way possible. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, you should go check it out. Okay, and then next we have one in one, which this is probably going to be the worst era to collect. Um, I do have one of Taemin's. I'm still missing his other one, if that says anything. Um, and then I also have a Onyo. It's so cute. And I have a key for this set. Also one of my favorite cards of his. So I'm like shocked that I even have three cards. So we're just missing a Chongyun and a Mino. Which Chongyuns for these are expensive, just like Taemin. It's a struggle. So for the next set, this is the one that I'm missing Taemin for. And I'll go ahead and put the other members in here. I don't know why this set is like the most expensive. I don't know if it's just like people just universally agree that this is like one of the best photo card sets and everybody wants them, but yeah, it's just really expensive. Okay, moving on to Story of Light. So I don't think I'm gonna collect um, EP1 just because there's only unit cards for that one. I think there's only like three cards, so I don't really Honestly, I don't really care too much about collecting those, and then for Story of Light 2, I only have Taemin, so I'll just put them like so. Me you know, and then Taemin. There he is. 
and okay I do have Onu for Story of Light 3 which I think these are going to be like some of the easiest ones to find um EP2 and EP3 they're just like not too expensive luckily uh oh Taman. I'm like what am I missing okay here is EP3 Taman. cute Um, and then in my setup with Taman, I had the sticker in the middle, so I think I'm going to do that, and I'll put, like, the group card that I have on the back. And then we have Story of Light's epilogue, which is definitely going to be another hard one to complete. I do have an Onu. And I do also have a key on the way. You know, and then we have a Taman. And then the other set. Onu. Key. You know. And Taman. And here, I do have these two group cards, so I just have them double-sided. And I think I'm going to put this one on the front because they're all, it's like a more cohesive outfit look. And yeah, so that's going to be the setup that we're working with. I think I'm going to have to film like a shop with me type of video now. <laughs> uh, so then we have Don't Call Me and Atlantis. And then hard, which has so many pages here. And yeah, then we have all the solos. I do need to actually like set up to finish collecting Tongyun's solo albums. Uh, maybe one day. I don't have the fillers ready to do that right now. But yeah, that's just kind of updates to my shiny collection. And so next, what I'm going to do is I bought, I finally purchased, I've been saying for like several videos now that I really need to split up my like NCT Dream and NCT 127 binder because it is absolutely like at maximum capacity, it is bursting. So I did finally buy another binder and going to split up those collections today. So let me go ahead and grab what I need. Okay, so here is the overflowing binder, and I purchased another 2-inch green binder, which I probably should have looked for a D-ring binder, but oh well, too late now. So I think since NCT Dream is like the smaller collection of the two, I'm going to move them into here and keep 127 in here. So let me, I guess, I'll take out the pages first. Like, literally, look at how overflowing this binder is. You can't even, like, see the rings. <laughs> if I open this, I feel like it's going to go everywhere. Ugh. Okay. Take out the cover. And we'll just start pulling out the pages. Actually, is NCT Dream even the smaller collection? They're probably about equal now. Okay. So that gives us plenty of room for this collection to expand. I do have to set up for AO eventually. Not AO. <laughs> I have to set up for fact check, but um, I'm waiting for the album details to come out because I don't know exactly what we're working with yet. And here is all of the NCT Dream pages. Gonna move this one out of the way. I'm gonna have to make a new collage now for 127.
because I'm gonna put this one back in here. I actually probably make like an OT7 collage. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna put this one here for now just because this will be the Dreamies binder and obviously Chumla is in NCT Dream. in okay <laughs> there we go I would have to do this like a few pages at a time because they just get they're so slippery Okay, so that is going to be the new NCT Dream binder, and we have plenty of room to grow. So yeah, she is all ready for new comebacks. This does not want to stay in place. Alrighty, and then, okay, the last thing I have to do today is... My Espa binder will be getting an upgrade, which is a very exciting upgrade. So this is the binder that my Espa collection is currently in, and you can see it's pretty full. This is just one of the little, like, what are they called? I got it off of Amazon. It's like a journal, technically, which I think it's really cute for, like, small collections, but Espa has very quickly outgrown it. Um, there's just not much space left in here at all. I could probably squeeze, like, one more comeback if I wanted to, but I don't want to risk cards getting damaged or anything like that. So, like, it's just, it's time to give them a new home. And let me show you the binder that I got. So, I have this binder, which, just look at the size difference. And also, she is thick. This is a, I believe it fits like two inches. It's a D-ring binder, so it fits a lot more. And yeah, so I purchased this from Mandu Deco. They were having like a sale on, I think it was, they called them like B-grade uh, binders. But like, honestly, I really don't even see any flaws on this one. So I don't know, but I'm not complaining. It has like a little um, like magnet closure which is really nice um, and kind of keeps all the pages just like in a nice little square. So I guess yeah, I can't really fit both of them in frame, but I'm going to just start by adding in these pages. And I purchased more of these pages um, because I think I'm, <gasps> oh no. Oh, I've realized my mistake. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I didn't even think of that. <sighs> oh no. I like, I need a hole punch. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well that's disappointing. I don't know what to do now. I don't think I have a hole puncher. <laughs> Would that even fit properly, like, if I do hole punch it? Oh, no. Oh, I shouldn't have bought that. <laughs> oh, 
what was I thinking? I guess I didn't even realize it was like a three ring binder. Ah, oh. okay, man, that sucks. Well, I guess we're not gonna be doing this today. I will have to come up with something new and I just purchased so many more of these pages. Okay, well, I guess I have to get a hole puncher or something and uh, we'll have to figure it out. If you have any suggestions, uh, let me know, but okay, well that was kind of a disappointing ending to this video. I guess I'll have to find something to put in here now, so alrighty, well, anyway, I guess that's going to be the end of this video, um, and I'll have to think of a solution for Espa before they have a comeback, which probably won't be anytime soon, knowing SM, but <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!